McCaffrey a freak? We'll get to that in a moment. Before we do, a reminder, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for this video if you have not already done so. We appreciate all the support we get. And of course, if you're an Iowa men's basketball fan, a reminder, we host live post-game shows after every Iowa men's basketball game with former Iowa assistant coach Gary Close. Close was the uh, was an assistant with Tom Davis at Iowa for years and eventually went to a couple Final Fours with the Bo Ryan staffs up at uh, Wisconsin. So Gary, a terrific mind, and we are live on this channel from the Hawkeye of the Storm on YouTube following every Iowa men's basketball game. Okay, the drama this week that we felt the need to at least address. Iowa defeating Southeastern Louisiana on Tuesday, 93-62. to But... Uh, the game did not uh, proceed without a little bit of drama. Late in the first half, if you didn't catch the game, Joe Toussaint uh, given a forearm. In fact, let's let's go to the video. Joe Toussaint given a forearm by a southeastern Louisiana player. Let's watch what transpired. Yeah, that was going out. Yes. Toussaint got a paw in there. Now he hits the deck and forced the tie-up. Oh, wow. And a little bit more than that, at the risk of a... Wrestling match breaking out in the wrong sport for Iowa fans. It looked like Joe Toussaint just took a forearm to the face from Keon Claire Joe. There's the hands you talked about, and now both players getting on the floor for this basketball. And take a look at this. Well, he we, we went away, but it looked like the right forearm goes right into Joe Toussaint's face. Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Wow. I understand why, why Toussaint. So I think most people would agree. Keon Clergy, the kid that uh, swung on the, the forearm, he, he didn't really make solid contact, which is probably a good thing for him because I don't think Joe Toussaint would have had that. Um, you saw Connor McCaffrey kind of coming to his defense, which you got to commend Connor for sticking up for his his brother, his his teammate there, and good friend Joe Toussaint. But uh, Clergy rightfully ejected. Um, I think intent was clear there. At least it appeared to the officials that it was clear, and it appeared to me that it was clear. Clergit is seen, we didn't see that in the replay, but Clergit is seen as he's walking by the Iowa bench to the tunnel laughing. You saw Sherman Dillard and Kirk Spira, two of Iowa's assistants, staring him down as he went by laughing, which was inappropriate. But the next day on Twitter, yesterday, Wednesday, um, got a little bit of, uh, I don't know how to describe what happened yesterday because it's so ridiculous, so juvenile, and yet we're here talking about it. So... A Twitter account, and I always have to paraphrase everything, preface something like this, a Twitter account, we can't 100% validate that this is the real Twitter account of the person we're assuming it's of, but it's Chris Salem 2. That's the Twitter account which has since been deleted. Uh, the Twitter account is allegedly the Twitter account of Assistant Sports Information Director for Southeastern Louisiana, Chris Salem. Now, according to Chris Salem's bio on the uh, Southeastern Louisiana Sports website. He is not only a sports information director for the Lions, he's also the play-by-play -play guy for uh, men's basketball. Now, according to the Chris Salem 2 Twitter account, I'll quote this account, all right? So at about 3.59 p.m. Wednesday, a response from Chris Salem on a tweet that was initially written about the ejection from an Iowa media member this is the Chris Salem tweet that everybody's talking about. He says, in response to a tweet about the media dudes from southeastern Louisiana not being happy with the clergy ejection, Chris Salem says, yep, because the replay showed it was that freak, Connor McCaffrey, who re-escalated it into 10 times more than it was, not to mention he shoved an official. But thinking that was a flagrant too, that's why the Big Ten Conference is labeled soft, and why Iowa got blasted by Iowa State, ISU. Weakness. Again, this is the Chris Salem 2 Twitter account. The bio of this account, when it was actually an active account, it's no longer active, the bio claimed that this was the Chris Salem that works for Southeastern Louisiana. Now, at 4.08 p.m., less than 10 minutes later, he says, Yes, sir, I'll take my chances with my label while your people, and probably you, we're telling racial slurs at clergy. You don't have a valid opinion. 6.13 p.m. He quotes, uh, allegedly quotes, a fan at Iowa State, a female fan. Well, they're a really good team and have been successful, but their fans go a little overboard. Hmm. Seems like she was dead on because there is no doubt the team is terrific on the court, 
But as I've seen on here, question mark, not so much off it. All right, this isn't going to be a lengthy video. I did want to address it because it was the topic on the message boards and on Twitter yesterday. But if this is the Chris Salem at southeastern Louisiana, assuming it is, again, we, we can't be dogmatic about that. You can go on Twitter and create an account under any alias and claim your anybody you want to claim. But my understanding was this was a, a, a long active Twitter account with this name. So you, you take that for what you may. If this is the real Chris Salem that works for Southeastern Louisiana in the athletic department, he needs to be fired. That's just, It's just as simple as that. You cannot go on social media as an employee, let alone a sports employee, the play-by-play for play-by-play guy for um, a Division One school, Division One athletic department, and basketball team, and call an opposing student athlete a freak. Now, the fact that it happens to be Fran McCaffrey, the head coach's son. Um, that doesn't really make it worse, better or worse, but it does make it especially noteworthy. Um, the bottom line is this: that type of behavior is unacceptable. Um, if that were reversed, if if and again, if if I want to address that too, if if these claims that that this Twitter account allegedly Chris Salem, if these claims are true that there were people, fans, whoever making racial slurs or epithets at Clergit as he was leaving, that's unacceptable and needs to be investigated by the University of Iowa. Now, those could be unfounded, but if those are legitimate claims, then those need to be investigated as well. But if it was flipped around and Matt Weitzel or Steve Rowe or Chris Brewer, all uh, SIDs at Iowa, if they went on social media and called an opposing student athlete a freak, they would be gone. They would be gone. That's all there is to it, all right? So, you know, I, I don't know that who this individual is. Again, if this is, the Chris, if this is the Chris Salem that works for Southeastern Louisiana, which, again, it appeared that it was, but, there, again, there's no way to completely validate that unless we can get in touch with him. By the way, we did reach out to Southeastern Louisiana. We thought we'd give that a shot before we went on the air here and release this video. We, really, we reached out to Chris himself, uh, left a message for Chris, no response as of the publishing of this video. Also reached out to Jay Artigas, the um, athletic director at Southeastern Louisiana. Left a voicemail for him. Also left a voicemail for Andrew Bashak, deputy director of athletics. No response as of the publishing of this video. So, we move on, right? Southeastern Louisiana is not on Iowa's radar. I, again, it's a low blow to do this, and it's it's clearly not very professional. But uh, we'll see. Does this freak, does this freak uh, nickname... Uh, stick for Connor McCaffrey because I don't think that's necessarily I certainly wouldn't call that a, an insult to Connor McCaffrey and we've been critical of Connor at times it's like you can be critical of any athlete um, I think respectfully but uh, you know Connor has struggled at times offensively he struggled from the three-point line this year I did find it interesting though uh, Patrick McCaffrey coming to his brother's defense yesterday and rightfully so uh, he said in a tweet quote responding to Chris You've shown great character on this app. It doesn't end with this guy. Uh, he also <laughs> re- re- referenced the Rick James song Super Freak um, and tagged his brother in it, which I find humorous and entertaining. So maybe the freak nickname will latch on for Connor. And if, you know, you can, again, you can be critical of Connor all you want. He's not a perfect player. He's not a perfect person, I'm sure, or an athlete. But one thing, Connor, I don't think anybody would question is Connor always has the backs of his teammates. Always. We've seen that. We saw it a couple of years ago um, in Champaign, as you'll recall. And um, again, Connor handled this very, I mean, more maturely than this apparent adult did for Southeastern Louisiana. Um, Connor said on Twitter yesterday, and I quote, if pulling someone off of Joe Toussaint after he tries to punch him makes me a freak, then I am the freakiest of all freaks. He also added, can't be good for your program when arguably your main media source, the SID, has 64 followers. Well, by the way, for anybody that doesn't know, um, the alleged Chris Salem, so Chris Salem 2 on Twitter, that account has since been deleted. So uh, he is still listed as an uh, employee for Southeastern Louisiana. This is the last I'll address of it, but I, again, thought we'd at least address it for those who maybe aren't on Twitter and who follow us on YouTube. That's the drama, and I guess what else do we have to talk about when there's no football until the first, there's no basketball for another week, and it's uh, 
it's winter. It's winter time here in Iowa. Thank you for joining me from the Hawkeye of the Storm. We will be back later this week with the release of our weekly podcast, which will feature Iowa defensive end commit and now signee Aaron Graves. We're looking forward to that interview. Stay tuned for the release of that podcast later this week. We'll talk to you soon. Corey Bratta from the Hawkeye of the Storm.